And while it appears the man who turned in the two suspects was a member of the Muslim community, many local Muslims are concerned about backlash tonight. Those fears were addressed at a community meeting where Amy Allen continues our team coverage. As details of the terror plot emerge, members of the local Muslim community say they share the same outrage as other Americans. But now they're living with the fear that they will be judged based on the accusations against these men. I think it's very important that basically the acts of these people who have apprehended do not represent uh, a broad community, whether it's Muslims or anybody else for that matter. The immigrant rights group One America hosted a community meeting for Seattle police, the U.S. attorney, and members of the Muslim community who are now bracing for backlash. We saw right after 9-11 and we've seen throughout the course of the last 10 years actually that anti-Islamic hate is on the rise wherever you are here in Seattle across the country among those who came to the meeting Omar Abdullah Meme. he personally knows suspect Abdul Latif I was just like in shock I was in awe like wow I couldn't believe it you know? Abdul Amim says the pair spent time on the streets of Seattle trying to teach non-Muslims about their faith he says if the accusations are true Abdul Latif never let on about any extremist views I never heard him ever talk about this. He never expressed this to me or anything like that. So I'm, I'm in shock just like the rest of me. In Islam, Islam is a religion of peace. And that is the message they want people to know. They're tired of the link between their religion and the word terrorist. And I think it's always important for us to remember that uh, extreme ideology does not limit itself to any particular people, any particular faith. Amy Allen, Q13, Fox News.